guys, it's Lauren here popping in today to share something that you've never seen me do before and that's setting up a month in my planner. Now I only do planning on a monthly scale. I need to look at my month all on one page and sort of know how my month is going to look and whether I need to change things or map things out. So that's how I plan with my monthly. I do not do daily. I do not do weekly. I can't keep up with it. It just needs to be a quick reference point for me. So the perfect um, setup is this setup here and I use the Composition Planner by Webster's and they have these book inserts. This one's got a, it's called Just Start written on the front of it and I love that. In the back of this book has weekly, like a weekly page setups. I use that just for taking notes and jotting down ideas. I do not use it as a weekly thing. The only thing I do do is use these monthly spreads. So I wanted to share with you how my March is going to look and what I do each month when I'm setting up my planner. Now, I made a commitment to myself in 2019 that I was going to be using my stamps more and becoming more budget friendly with my planner. I was getting, last year when I was planning, I was getting lots of sort of guilt around um, what I would be putting on my planner pages because of the amount of money that it cost me. And so this year, to sort of put that guilt aside, I've decided that stamping is the way I'm going to plan my months. And I've it's we're up to month three in me decorating my planner, and I'm absolutely loving it. I Stamps aren't usually something in my scrapbooking uh, that I go to very often, so it's been lovely for me to really make a conscious decision to pull them out and play with them, and I'm really loving the results. I can get that full creative experience on my planning, and it turns out with lots of building of layers and different colored inks, you can really get these super pretty planner pages that you're often seeing that lots of product uh, achieves also. But this way, I know that I've got, I'm pulling out stamps from my stash. I'm challenging myself not to buy any more and using what I've got. And I'm using ink pads that I've already had in my stash and I'm being conscious of the budget. Now, the ink that I'm using here today is the Ombre Set by Hero Arts. It's a really fun little stamp set there and it's got the tri-colour there and it gives, when you sort of muck around with it like you see me doing there, you get a bit of a blend of colour. Uh, I'm not a stamping expert. This I am definitely have very limited knowledge on stamping. I just go for it and whatever looks good, I you know, give it a go. I'm willing to give things a try. I don't overthink it. If it doesn't stamp properly, I'm not going to get stressed out about it. And that's really what I wanted my planner pages to be this year. I don't document stories. I don't document moments. I just, sorry about the little glitch there. Um, I just document who, what, where, when, where I need to be, what the kids are doing, um, how many weekends have I got left in the month to you know, think about what I need to get done, when's the house going to be cleaned, what day can I do things. That's why I like the monthly spread. I know if I'm going away on the weekend, some things that I'd normally do on a weekend, I need to catch up during the week and I can see what I've got on in the week just to kind of see if I can fit everything in and sort of map it all out there. I also use it to map out what projects I might have due for design teams or just some personal goals around my creativity. And that might be how many YouTube videos that I want to try and do this month or um, what involvement do I want to um, you know, try and, you know, I, I push myself creatively in the sense of I want to set some goals. Most of the time those goals aren't achieved, but what it does is put me in a bit of a mind frame at the beginning of the month on what what could I achieve in this month or what would I like to. Often t life gets in, in the way, which I'm sure for all of you know what I'm talking about there. Uh, but I want to set some goals for myself, even if they don't end up coming together. So as you can see, the page is really building and all I've used so far is stamp sets. I Here I am checking out what days of the month go where so I know where to start. 
as you can see now, this is probably freaking out some people because it's you're writing on your pages and it's not perfectly stamped or it's not perfectly neat. But I really want to be able to, at the end of the year, throw this out, know that it hasn't cost me much, know that it's not going to be a worry and not overthinking my handwriting, not overthinking anything. And it's sort of given me a bit of a freedom uh, to just go for it. Uh, so just handwriting those days of the month in has been really perfect. I even though my handwriting is messy at points and sometimes I might even stuff the numbers up and scribble it out and and go again, it's what I found is this bit of creative freedom around it and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. These little sticker books by uh, American Crafts I picked up to help me with Project Life last year and I'm committed to using them up this year. I want to get some new things like this but what I don't want to do is end up buying new things and not using the what I've already got in my stash so planning for me is also going to be about stash busting pulling out those sticker books those sticker sheets that you've got that you think you might not be wanting to use on layouts anymore or that you just have on hand and using them up but these sticker books have like about 5,000 stickers in them and they're very cost effective so if you've got some of those in your stash I recommend pulling a few of those out and there you go there's my march it looks all pretty and by the end of the month it'll be full of black handwriting and crazy times and probably scribbles but it's caused me no stress and cost me very little money. So there's my tip for March and planning pages. I hope you like my planner guys and take care. I'll see you really soon. Bye.